I'm Ian Scott, I'm director at Base Creative. When I deliver seminars on search engine optimization, what I tend to finish on is uh, aspects of social media. And um, certainly when I did my last seminar for the, the Chamber of Commerce, I got asked at the end quite a lot about how, um, how Google is going to start really taking on board social media. So when I say social media, I'm talking about your LinkedIn profile, your Facebook profile, and of course, you know, things like microblogging, that's Twitter. I don't know whether it's going to be tomorrow, next year, maybe in a couple of years' time, but I would imagine that Google's going to tap into our social networks in order to give us much more relevant results. And that's always what it comes back to. All Google's trying to do is give the, the normal Joe public much more relevant results. And if it's got access to your location, <clears throat> if it's got access to your social networks, it's going to bring that information in in order to give you much more relevant results. Imagine one of my friends recommends a restaurant to me in Islington via Twitter. I go onto Google, I type in restaurants. In future, Google is going to look at my social network in order to bring up much more relevant results. So knowing that, it's going to rank that recommendation for my friend much higher than it normally would. Already through social networks like Google Buzz, it's no doubt trying to find out what we were doing yesterday, what we're doing today, in order to give us much more relevant results. But ultimately that means that there's no position one anymore, not for a search term, more like position one for a particular searcher, for you and me, for people who are looking for local restaurants, for example. That opens up whole new possibilities in terms of search engine optimization, in terms of how social media is going to become a lot more important when ranking websites and search engines. Um, what does that mean for us? What does it mean for, for you as a, as a website owner? What it means is you've got to take on board social media right now. Um, you've got to set up Twitter, you've got to be on LinkedIn, you've got to have a Facebook account. You need your clients, your customers, and your potential clients and customers to already be talking about you because they're going to be using social media in order to recommend you in the future. And that recommendation is going to play a big part in search engine optimization in the future. There's loads of other things to think about. Social bookmarking, for example. Have a look at delicious.com. It's an online social bookmarking tool. It allows anybody to bookmark a website, but online, as opposed to just with Internet Explorer or Firefox. Assuming that you share that information, Google can also pick that up, and that goes some way to improving SEO. So the more social bookmarks you have, the higher you're going to be in SEO. And the same principle is going to apply to social media in the future. I'll give you another example. I went onto to Twitter, and on the, the right-hand side, you've got all the latest trends. This is what people are tweeting about most. <clears throat> And on that list was uh, Justin Bieber, which I've, I've no idea who he is. Um, anyway, into Google, I typed in Justin Bieber, and up popped a live search results. And what that had was all the latest tweets where people had referenced this guy. So back in Twitter, I tweeted, who is Justin Bieber? Next thing you know, within the live search results, hands off keyboard, didn't even touch or refresh, um, up pops my own tweet. This is on page one of Google. So Google is already paying so much attention to social media in order to bring much more relevant results to its searches. Well, let me know, what do you think? Do you think search engines should know and tap into our social networks to give us up-to-date and more relevant results? Or are you happy with just knowing which website is most optimized. Let me know. Ian.scott at basecreative.eu